What are you trying to prove? And I'm not a nobody. You find fit, and you will find all the answers. When you see me, say hallelujah. Clarence, you are guilty of the crime fraud for your own ill-gotten gains. If you give me Jesus of Nazareth, I will let you walk free, and I will give you power. Jamal's always been a... This is Jamal from the... Uh... <laughs> Jamal from Black Tree TV. Wicked. Yo. Ten up, piece of the gun. I really, really love this movie. You know? Firstly, Jamal. Firstly, no, 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 no. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to start that. We're going to give you your, your props. Peace to the black god, Jamal. Peace. Firstly, I've always watched your interviews. Always, always watch them. You know, Eddie Murphy was, was classic. This is Jamal from the, uh, <laughs> classic. It's a step to me. I have the first time I met y'all at 16 years. Yeah, I've been trying, man. I was just nah. trying to be on that Every time. now and then I hear, it be like, who? Jamal, he said 16 years. Ready. Like, every now and then I'd be like, I hear like on some island somewhere, and it'd be like, oh, they had the black so-and-so filmmaker of, uh, awards. And be like, what? <laughs> what? Oh, yes, 20 years they've been doing it. I've been, I never heard of that shit. I've been gigging 30 years. What? Oh yes, this year we honored uh, yeah. AJ Jamal. And, uh. Secondly, the way you came today is everything that the book of Clarence is, from the tunic to the to the to the, to the Jordans. Like you, 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 you know, my brother. It's amazing. It's amazing. They it's just amazing. don't know the work of art it is yet because they haven't seen the movie. But well, when they do, they'll get it. You're a genius. You. You're a genius, brother. Thank you. I got I gotta ask you this challenge of playing two of the same, of being a twin and playing both characters as an actor, like how was that exercise of being able to be those different characters and not mix it up? You know, like how challenging was that? Um, you know, uh, I don't know. I kind of worked on it beforehand. The, the most challenging part for me was the contacts. <laughs> I uh, I had uh, some eye situations that were very difficult to navigate. I'd never put a contact in my eye before, so it was like really tricky learning how to do that uh, to achieve eye color in uh, Thomas. Um, but you know, I think it was just like a lot of thinking about how they would foil each other, how they would uh, be different, how one might carry them, themselves when they think a certain thing about themselves. Oftentimes, the things that determine who we are are very in small degrees of the uh, way we view the world, our, our perspective, and that determines how we sit, how we walk, how we talk, our experiences. And so, you know, I figured that they had at some point deliberately went to the uh, divergent paths. And, you know, uh, Thomas decided that he was going to do what he felt was necessary to achieve what he wanted, and Clarence was going to do what he felt was necessary to achieve. They both wanted to fit into different groups, but they had their different ways of going about it. Uh, so, for instance, Thomas might think he needs to hold himself like this, or Clarence might think he needs to be more in his, you know. So whatever it is, you know, everyone adopts a specific thing for a specific reason, so I tried to give them their appropriate things. Like a G. James, this, I mean, this is it, it's not like Black Panther is the first superhero movie and how we all felt about it, but it still was a similar feeling for me to see biblical st stories told with, faces that look like me, the see the Ben Hurd type of chariot scene with faces. It it still had that type of power of Absolutely. having of affecting me as just like, oh wow, to see it, it it felt I felt it. Thank you, brother. That's the was the whole point of me doing this movie. You know, the, I think those stories are really important. But we can never see ourselves in those in those films. I remember watching um I think it was the the Ten Commandments. They brought some slaves in, and the, and the slaves was black. And I was like, oh, God, wow, but we could have easily been the front That story takes place in Egypt. For me, watching those movies and being a huge fan of all of those films, but never been able to see anyone I relate to in those movies. And I'm talking about even from a white perspective. There's, I've, I've met a million white people in my life. I've never met anyone like Charlton Heston, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I've never met anyone like Victor Mature. I've never met anyone like these people. So I wanted to make a, a, a movie about kind of like the environment that I grew up in, but set it in those days and see how in alignment they are, right? And just see how, how also to be able to, to give an audience a biblical era epic, but with people that they can relate to in it. it look at that society in alignment with the society that they live in and see a familiarity, see a relater relatability that you can't do, which is probably why Hollywood stopped making those those movies. But if you cast those movies correct, they're amazing, amazing films. You have, a, if you have a Lakeith Stanfield that's alive, 
Yeah. Man, you better make a biblical movie real quick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like when, when else am I going to get a chance to, to do this film? From the minute I met the guy, I was like, okay, I've got my Clarence. I have to do this film next. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I know, like, I, I love Harder, you know, the, the Harder You Fall, thinking I want to see a, another one of these. But I, I, I finished this, like, I want to see more of Clarence. I want to see crazy, Clarence, right? Clarence do more. And the craziest thing about it, when I got on the plane to come out here, I was listening to Nights Over Egypt. Okay. When I heard it in the film, it was just like, it, it just threw me off. And I oh, heard Fatima is yeah. choreographed. Fatima Robinson yeah, yeah. choreographed the whole, the whole um, uh, scene. And also, you know, we always listen to, like, night, Nights Over Egypt. People that know, like, no Nights Over Egypt, they listen to it, but they never listen to the words. But now, you listen to the, you listen to the words. It's a crazy thing how the Book of Clarence now is like, is that scene is forever tied to Nights Over Egypt. Nights Over Egypt is forever tied to that imagery. So now when we hear Nights Over Egypt, we'll think about ourselves in the Bible days. You can't get no doper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I think, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a beautiful thing to have a biblical movie that has us in it. Yeah. And we're going to ancient Egypt next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, I ain't kidding. <laughs> Let's not tell them too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> keep it on the low. No, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, also, like, I just, I, I, also, I, I really like the idea of seeing Clarence more, or again, in some sense. I'm not asking you to make a book of Clarence, too, but if you... One, one, but if one you, hundred percent. <laughs> the only thing better than Lakeith Stanfield is more Lakeith Stanfield. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely agree with that, man. I pre appreciate your time. Man, man, really inspired. I'm just really looking forward to both of you, you on the screen and, and you as a filmmaker, because I mean, what you've been given and what you've been given, is, I'm, now I'm just excited to see more. I just hope I just could live long enough to see a whole bunch of more you projects for, from all of y'all, because y'all really, uh, really are inspiring me, man. I and, I, and, I, and, I, and I hope, you know, we could do this, we could do this again. We, sh we have to make a pact, because I'm always going to go there, genre-wise. So every time you interview us, you have to come in the regalia and the ensemble in accordance with the genre. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be, be our thing. That's our plan. You know what I mean? Peace to the GLD 